Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making a goat milk soap using this fun fragrance apple from Nurture Soap and it says it doesn't call any, cause any acceleration or discoloration um, and it really smells like apples so I can't wait to see if it sticks around after the cure because it just smells fresh and juicy and I love a good apple. Who doesn't? Um, for the color I'm going to use Ruby Red from Nurture Soap and uh, that just spoke to me with the whole apple thing. So I'm going to get everything pulled together, get my goat milk lye solution cooling and ready, get my hair pulled back, and let's make some really fun goat milk apple soap. I'm ready to move forward with my apple soap today. Uh, what I've got going over here in the goat's milk is I have about a teaspoon of titanium dioxide to keep it on the lighter side, even though this fragrance doesn't discolor. I also uh, melted in a little bit of water some cane sugar and then I added that to the goat milk before I put the lye in here. Uh, it does have tons of silk fibers and some sodium lactate. So that's what's going on in this pitcher. And then over here I have kale and clay, colloidal oats, and the fragrance is in here already. I'm just kind of letting that anchor because it says it doesn't cause any um, acceleration and I'm only doing one color swirl so I felt pretty confident putting that in there. So I'm going to run this through the strainer just because the goat's milk is real thick and I want to make sure there isn't any chunks or whatever in there. And then I'll hand stir it and then we can stick blend when we add the colors. And I'll show you, I am um, hoping to do a little piping on top. I would like to save off a little bit and try and do some little faux apples on the top. So let me show you, I have just this if you can see the little round tip, I want to just kind of do a little apples and then I have a leaf tip. So I'll save off a little and color it green for a leaf. I was just trying to think of what to do on top that would make it really interesting to kind of go with the apple theme. So I don't know if my little dots will look like apples or not, but I'm going to give it a try, you know. No harm in trying, right? It's just soap. This smells like apples, I just have to say. It really does. I can't decide if I'm doing red color, so I'm going to say it smells like red apples, but it kind of smells like Granny Smith, but apple nonetheless. <laughs> so, all right. Let's give this a nice hand stir for emulsion and we'll split off for our little red swirl. I'd like to just run a hanger through it. Um, just real simple just your basic swirl. Love it. Sometimes just the simple things are the best. One color, run a hanger through it, and they, it just always comes out pretty for me. I love it. Or I just like how it looks. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so let me see if you can see the little wisps there of oil. That means I don't have emulsion yet. I just want to show you. When you don't see any oil wisps on top, it's fully incorporated. So that's, so I stir. Sometimes I'll mix the pulse with the blender and then stop and see if anything rises. And that's how I kind of gauge whether I have emulsion. It's looking pretty good. So I've got my little other, my baby square container here. I, all my um, round containers are dirty. I made other soaps today, and so <laughs> I'm down to my little square containers, which is fine. These are great. Very sturdy. I got these from, uh, it's called Websterant, and uh, that's where I get my um, baker's racks that I use for curing racks too, and they have really good prices on some things. And these can, you can get them with lids, so I would recommend Websterant. Uh, if I think of it, I'll put a link down below for them. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I really like what they've got. So just throwing it out there for a tip for you all. I always like to keep a wet rag off to the side. It's just kind of for quick little cleanups and such. So let me get over here. And again, I've got my ruby red little sample. And I'm going to be dumping all that in here and see how that color goes. If I need to add a little bit more, I'll show you what I add for that. A little container here for green. Let me pour off into there from my little green leaves. And I don't need much, so I think 
that'll probably be good. Here, lightest to darkest, so just want to get this a little more blended. That's pretty, but I think I have this um, crimson red wine that I'm going to add just a little more. I want this more red. Jade green for my leaves. It's been the next day, actually a little bit longer, about a day and a half. And let's take a look at our apples. These crack me up, okay? They look like strawberries, right? Those don't look like apples to me, but the scent is apple. So let's just, <laughs> let's just go with it. Maybe they're crab apples, that might be it. Anyway, when I got done piping them, I looked at them and I thought, well, those look like strawberries. Get in here and see how our little apple bars came out. Oh, they smell good and those swirls are very pretty. They still kind of look like strawberries to me, but that's all right. Maybe subliminally the word apple will make you think of apples when you look at them. I'm happy with those though. The swirls are so pretty.